auto explorer. I'll be sad if my clone dies, but like, I can make another one. I can't right now. I don't have any more cloning drought, but like, I could probably get more cloning drought. This is the slowest auto explorer ever. There's something about the Yid Freehold that really slows down Auto Explorer when I do it. But you only gotta do it once. Well, who, who is this strange man hiding in the bushes? Guy White of Koss and Denison of the Yid Freeholds. Ghostly Flame, Stinger, Gershling Fangs, Pathetic. You could definitely kill a Leering Stalker with enough EMP. How many EMP grenades do I have? Mm. I don't have any with me, but I could probably make a few. It would help with the uh, horrifying robot that was there as well. Uh, let's go down to the kitchen, make a snack real fast. Tongue and cheek. I got the ability tongue. Turn some tart beard gland into tart beard gland paste. Preserve my fresh food. And let's lip up a special meal. A named meal. What am I going to cook with here? I got three wild rice. Tart beard. Still beard. Sleep beard. Soul curd. I got two soul curd. Throw a soul, a soul curd in there. When did I pick up soul curd? That's fun. Uh, we'll throw some bear jerky in there. I have a worrying amount of bear jerky. And... Some bone meal. Why not? I have a spicy sandwich. One that might... If we're lucky, give me some stats, even. Whenever you're drop below 20% chance, gain 6 AV for 50 turns. Wait. Sulker is not what I thought it was. Bless. Nectar's drop. That's what I want. Nectar drop. Eater's drop. Eater's drop. Something like that. Either way, this is whatever. Just make a... Make Sam, I'm using Tilt Control's hand, which is shredded bone meal over so soul curd and meat pancake. Delicious meal. Love it. Got uh, some cookbooks in here. One serving. We got the air rubbed seared meat goulash. The compote and marinated fire ant and smoke. This is going to give us teleport other. Pyrokinesis. Scale Lagroot Pastry, Flaming Ray, and Flaming Dip on Top of Asphalt and Freeze-Dried Stew, Fire Breath. Learn my four new meals, and now let's learn Crimson Chow. Cider with Yondercane and Savory Shadow, Teleport Other, and Phasing. Tonic and Cold Mushroom Couscous with Dolma. Whenever you get itchy skin, you can't be phased for two hours. Wow, that might be one of the worst recipes ever. It's like, hey, I'm about to develop a crippling disease based on a fungal infection, but you know what? Can't phase me for two hours. Balm Skulk Rice, plus four to DV, plus eight to twelve for saves versus bleeding. Lust Grave Moss, their soup. 200 rep with flowers. Ooh, I wonder if I have any food that gives me rep with apes. Maybe I could develop a recipe that gives me rep with apes. Do I have any, like, ape food? Can I make ape jerky? Is ape jerky a thing? It is ape food. If I eat enough apes, will that, uh, will that do it for me? Seems like it would be banana-based. 
I feel like, weirdly enough, you eat the people you want to have a good reputation with. They don't know you ate them. They just kind of feel an affinity for you, you know? Like, if I eat goo, like ooze, it gives me rep with slime. Perfectly normal. Not a problem, you know? Normal stuff. Don't think about the cannibalism aspects. Eating apes to gain rep with apes is probably not how it actually works, but it might. It might. We have to. We'll have to do a test next time I'm inspired. We'll we'll eat a bunch of a uh, bunch of bear jerky and see if we can get bear rep. In 901, the villagers of the Yid Freehold and its founders abolished all forms of hierarchy from their settlement. The two pillars of civic life in the Freehold thus became anarchy and authenticity. Centuries after the height of the gyre, the Svardim Goek Mac and Gyub met the Galgal Many Eyes while languishing inside a reef sponge. Together, they founded the Yid Freehold to live out the rest of their lives. Maybe I want to make friends with this warden and take them with me. That would probably help survivability. My clone is pretty good, but, like, having a tough, no-nonsense warden might help. Let's go down to the workshop to start. God, you'd freehold. Why do you slow my exploration and movement down so much? Ugh. Got a rock tumbler in here that I could use if I wanted to. An unfinished sculpture. The wet paints of earth, clay, slag, chrome, and dye slouch a half idea with material weight. Transformation is arrested through indecision or neglect. And what's this cube? Strange furniture. It's a glass printer. Oh, that's neat. Hey, bud. What do you got for me? A small stone. Buy that. Gesticulating, scaled, chrome revolver, and nano neuro animator. We've already got one. Stun gas grenade, transkinetic cuffs. I don't know what transkinetic cuffs do. Partial monomatter assembly. Gives you number five, huh? Yeah, I'm just going to go for the small stone so we can teleport here and not have to worry about that ever again. I got one rough... Oh, I can put my rough amethyst gemstone in the rock tumbler. That'd be nice. Carbide dagger, vibro dagger. All these stupid sower seeds. A uh, bunch of chem cells I picked up that I don't want. There's a couple of these books I picked up. Done. Done and done. Trade complete. Alright. Artifact. Small stone. Examine. It's a Yid Freehold Recoiler! Perfect. With that... Whoa, 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 hold on. Rock Tumbler? Open. Take the Smooth Japs or Gemstone out of it. Open. I would like to store my Rough Gemstone in there. My Rough Amethyst Gemstone. Just kind of pass a few turns. Look at it. Still rough. Pass a few more turns. 
Open it. Still rough. You know what? I'll come back in a bit. I got other shopping to do. BRB. Workshop. To the market. Haltingly, jerkily, slowly make your way to the market. That is a big old salt kraken right there. <coughs> hey, bud. Chris Steele? No, I need Zetachrome! Come on. Uh, you guys might have stuff, I guess. Hey, bud. Nope. Oh, Pepsi, the other guy. Where's all the Zetachrome at? Hey, Bep. Just to waste another turn, I'm gonna look at your stuff. Fibro daggers. There it is, nice and smooth. Get. I'm gonna be annoyed if there's no Zetachrome. Alright, workshop's done. Don't need to go to salon. Market's done. Many eyes. Living quarters, library, kitchen, convalescence quarter. I'll steer a bunch of stuff from the convalescence quarter. I'm starting to think I really have no choice but to bum around in the moon stair. Zetachrome's rare. It's annoyingly rare. Take the bionic heart. Have electricity noise going on in one of these locations. Steel. Nothing. I actually don't really care to have any of that. Uh, steal all that. And steal the salve injector. I have enough swing salt that I'm never going to use. I was hoping to find a nice non-violent way to get some Zetachrome. Well. We have the annoying... Trining lampreys here. Which is very frustrating. But I do have a number of sites to visit in the Moonstair. We have Shazor, we have Tur. We have the lair of multiple legendary Dream Krungles over there for some reason. Another legendary Dream Krungle. Is there anything kind of like close to the entrance I could do? Triangle Kigashur in the Baroque Ruins there. Ursifa Hall. Might actually be either Baroque Ruins or Deep Jungle. I don't, it's not Moonstair. Okay, all right. That's another potential location right there. Like, all that's left for me is scary places. We just gotta man up. I just fucking hate Trining Lampreys. They're so hard to kill. They just make more copies of themselves. Which is why I'm probably not gonna go here just yet. Let's take a look at the one down here. I'm a little lost. Not lost. Alright, Ursiva Hall. How horrible are you? Machine walls? No, nope, quartzite. I would love a small clearing. Okay. He's shooting at something. He's sprinting. Good work, I guess? I don't know what you're fighting. Slinth? Oh, I don't want to fight Slinth. I want to be friends with Slinth. First off, swipe him. Chris Steele Halberd. 
Ogre ape. I kind of want to be buddies with apes, too. What are you doing to me, game? Flurry the ogre ape. What else we got here? Crystal Warhammer. I need to pick up just one axe so I can do some field dismemberment. Level 36, baby! One to each attribute. Nice. Two mutation points, 316 skill points to spend. Can I put something in the carapace yet? No, not yet. Mutation ranks capped at 19. We are 19 currently. What do I want to learn now? I'm done with heavy weapon. Put it in the carapace? I'm not allowed to put any points in the carapace right now. I'm, I'm capped. Capped at 19. Maybe it's time to learn so I stop getting lost. That might be good. At the very least, let's learn maybe ruins and jungles. Chance of finding interesting encounters in them goes up too. So yeah, let's do ruins, jungles, just to get it out of the way. And then hills and mountains too. Axe. I mean, I don't need to learn Dismember because we just need to use uh, Field Amputation. Short Blade, no. Persuasion's pointless. Single Weapon, no. Cudgel Axe, no, no, no. We could learn... Tumble? Jump and Tumble? But I need Juke first. Suppressing Fire. Bow and Rifle, we have a bunch of stuff we could still learn. Done with Multi-Weapon. Sprint longer. Carapace. Nostrums. Apothecary. Oh, Apothecary's not bad. Extra round of healing. Improved. Dueling stance is already done. Might get improved aggressive and defensive stance. Where the hell's Juke? It's in Tactics, right? Or Kickback would be good. Don't need any more tinkering. Where's my intelligence at right now? 28. One more point, I could actually learn Tinker 3. Alright. I won't worry about what I'm spending my points on just yet. It's Lint's got a gun! Dude, did that wall explode into water? Hi, Cyclopean Ape. Goodbye, Cyclopean Ape. I got a bad feeling about my attempting to get more rep with... Apes mission while we're murdering all the apes here. Metal folding chair, take it apart. Ah, uh, Vantabuds are just the worst. This this doesn't seem too scary so far. I, I'm liking this place. This seems tolerable. An herbary? Get it. Heal my companion. Okay, approach the walls of this spot. Are you teleporting? Erase the slinth from existence. Crystal dagger. If you kill all the apes, you could declare your own faction. Is that how it works? It may hurt your reputation with ghosts. Oh! Some ruin walls inside the naturally formed walls. 
All right, I'm feeling a little confident I'm gonna auto explore. I'm not seeing the horrible, horrible things. Such as trining lampreys. I am inspired to cook a meal. But let's just have just a quick meal first. Uh, am I not going to find a way into? Okay, what we got? Goat folk. Dawning ape. Ogre ape. Stop making portals! I would like to avoid other dimensions, please. Okay, there he is. The guy making the portals. Erase him. Like, this seems like a relatively, uh... Handleable location we find ourselves in. Oil stained dawning ape. Remove the dawning ape. Alright. Me and my buddy are healed. Resume exploration. Auto explore even. I'm feeling confident. This is not that scary. Lower floors might be worse, but. Worry about that when we start going down. Much better. This place is not nearly as scary as the other one. The only problem is how do we get inside? Thinking upper left up there? Like over here we might be able to get in? Go on. Famous last words. Yeah, yeah. When we were playing Tiny Rogues yesterday, and I was uh, playing as a bard, one of the songs was the Song of Hubris. And I was like, ooh, that's my theme song right there. Okay. Alright. Nice and safe right now. Stasis Grenades. Learn. I wish there were more non-psychic ways to see through walls. That'd be great. It's a Warden of the Sanctum. Called from the Temple Paladins, the stoic visage of the Sanctum Warden might as well have been shaped from crow. He stands behind his Azure Aegis in the Catatonia of Singular Purpose to defend the Holy Rock from interlopers. Is this, uh, is this man part of the Nazis? I'm not aggroed on him, which makes me think he's not? Carbide. See, he. What's the. Is the Holy Rock a different group? Holographic Beth. Don't like Holographic Beth. I'm gonna murder that man if it's. Uh, he is, in fact, a part. Part of the human purity supremacist groups. Alright, nice small floor here. Hey, buddy. A weird artifact. And you're not associated with, like, anything... Just Sanctum. Word of the Sanctum. Doesn't say Holy Templar or anything on there. Two thousand for the weird artifact? Ah, I might murder you soon. Let's see what's below. God damn it, I always think I'm my clone. That's a lot of apes that all appeared at the same spot. I can't tell. He looks like he might be a mechanist and not a Nazi. But sometimes it's hard to tell. Oh, 
Oh my god, which one am I? This one down here. That dude just shoved me through two walls. Bloody wet crystal greatsword. Did I get disarmed? No, I still got all my stuff on here. Bloody wet crystal greatsword. I feel like I was using a two-handed crystal greatsword. Crystal longsword, glacius bears woe. Oh, maybe I stopped using that at some point. Either way, I'll probably pick it up. Seems like the kind of thing I could keep using. Are there just infinite apes here? Ninefold boots, crystal greatsword, null ray pistol. I feel like someone just got uh, exploded in that corner when I got pushed through the wall. How you doing, buddy? You alright? Mostly fine. Oh. I think this is the uh, opportunity to switch into aggressive stance and swipe everybody. Swipe! Stop making more Cyclopean apes! Please! There's too many! Every time I kill one, there's like four more. Quick, before they make more! God damn. Yeah, you throw rocks, I'll just go ahead and vaporize you. Rainbow Weave Cloak. Take that with me. Crystal Dagger can stay on the floor, not important to me. Uh, Crystal Greatsword. Hey, grab it. Hey, bud. Oh, that's a big push you did on me. You can't, you can't stop me. Let's just calm down. Take the books. Take the book. Open, take the book. Clank distribute! Cannot kill Clank. I think I, I think Clank wrote that one. I don't know for sure, but like it's a it's a theory. Take the advanced rate volume seven. Hey hey, a greater voider. I don't I don't need to murder you guys anymore, so I won't. Bent metal sheet. You know what? Auto explore. I like this place. This is a, a manageable location so far. Oh. Are there... Are, uh, is it disintegration grenades that guy was putting on the ground? Slightly more worrisome. Uh, battle axe. Perfect. A hand axe would be a little bit better because I just want to do field amputations. Uh, Deadshot, take it. Let's take a little... Oh, these grenades are a problem. I said rest until party's healed. Okay, good. He did, in fact, do it. What are you shooting at? He's chasing after Cyclopean apes! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I got it. I figured it out. Oh, man. I thought ogre ape pelts gave you ape rep. There have to be items I could just hold on to that would give me ape rep. We gotta get in good with the apes. I wanna go talk to the ape god.
Crystal Warhammer, Crystal Dagger. Come on, where's the Zetachrome? Crystal Longsword. On equips their sturdy space inverter with beam splitter. Wonder what he's gonna put on in his place. The head of the greatest warrior? Surely strong ape respect you for that. I just gotta find like a, an ape figurine or something. Oh god, please no. Flurry it. Oh, oh, I don't want this to happen. There's a chance I could just destroy it. Oh. That thing was about to just like launch a giant chunk of earth and make a hole in the ground and I was standing right on it. The Wilds, 5th edition. Warms as you like, 1st edition. Any atom existed. Free holds of true folk unabridged. Walk through the Cyclopean Apes. Those apes are trapped forever in there. I mean, I'm the strongest ape when you get right down to it. I am clean in house here. A kitten. Bring them a kitten. All right, down we go. All right, Cyclopean Apes, Slinth. We're at a Becoming Nook right here. I'm going to go back up the stairs. Back up. Cyclopean Gibbons! Swipe them! The game has to process every rock throw from all 9,000. For three turns. Aggressive swipe's nice when you're dealing with, like, giant piles of jerks like this. Because you just go and attack every tile around your character. But dueling stance, swipe instead disarms whoever you hit. Which is good for other things, like getting free guns. Chris Steel Battle Axe. That's probably better than the, like, Great Axe I picked up earlier. Probably takes up less room. Gibbon Corpse. Oh, you know what? We got a Gibbon Corpse. Let's test Field Amputation. Uh, melee Weapon. Bloodstain Chris Steel Great Sword. Chris Steel Battle Axe times two. Let's drop one of those. Turns out I had more than one. Gaslight chisel disassemble. All right, crystal battle axe. Equip manually. Let's put it on. Can I put it in the thrown weapon slot? Will that work? Amputate limb. Axe or weapon capable of dismember equipped. Alright, I guess it doesn't count if it's in the thrown weapon slot. What a baby. Remove. Equip manual. Let's put it in. Oh! Glacialicus Berzwa was the two handed one I'm using. Masterwork Christia Longsword. Sharp Jacked Vibro Blade. Ceremonial Vibro Kapesh. Ceremonial Vibro Kabesh. We'll replace that for a second. 
Amputate limb. Well, hold on then. Hold on, back up. Where's the corpse? I know there was a corpse here somewhere. God damn it, I lost the corpse. Where'd the corpse go? Did I butcher it? Gibbon corpse. The Gibbon corpse to the south. Oh! It was a Cyclopean Gibbon. It was just a temporal copy. It faded from reality. I don't know if the real corpse stuck around. Well, damn it. Vibrocopesh! Of course I know that corpse. It's me. There's a given corpse you just looked at. Where? Salt and crust the one right next to me. Dilute blood, large stone, large stone, clone. Dilute salt. I'm just gonna check every direction around me. There it is. All right, I'm standing on it. I'm gonna take a step up. It's directly below me. Let's test it on this corpse. I, I hope it works on corpses and not just me and my companions. Equip manual, replace the vibro -capesh. Amputate limb. There's no one there. So when we need a limb, we'll take it off me or my clone. We still have the plan. I wonder if the vibro is what I should still be using. I could put a... a Crystal Greatsword. No, that's two-handed. But still, I probably have other stuff I can be putting here. Alright, so you can't amputate corpses. Good to know. Examine. It's a gun rack implant. Depends on the AV of the person you're fighting. Hello there. What's going on, Mighty Odin? On whether or not I can, uh... I know dismemberment, but, like, we're looking to amputate. Oh, you're talking about, yeah, my vibro -capesh. Depends on the AV there. Bladed vibrators sound like a real pain in the ass. Thank you, 421. You did the right thing. Yeah, I have an axe. We can amputate, but I was hoping to amputate a corpse on the ground as opposed to me or my clone. The beetle moon passed overhead. Motorized tread, 75 pounds. You know, they don't sell for that much. I'm just going to leave that on the floor. Jars with happy spores. The past to gather like. Holographic visage, I'll take that one. Every run I do that I'm not a true blood is a run where I find all the implants and all the becoming nooks. Every run that I'm a mutant. <sighs> that second sentence uh, wasn't supposed to happen. Can I get, like, a little bit deeper into this pile of monkeys? Oh, that was a good swipe. Oh my god, unlimited monkeys. I don't know what's going on in here. You know what? My clone's right. Corrosive gas, screw these guys. You should have made a lot of pasta sauce and pasta yesterday so you could eat it today like I did. There is perhaps too many gibbons for a barrel. Oh, yeah, just cut through the entire pile of these guys. And then swipe. Unloaded monkeys is how Shakespeare is written. Yes, that is true. It got twisted over time. With people saying, like, you could write Shakespeare that way, but they forget that that's how it was written. That's just straight up how it became, 
came to be. Where did this one monkey come from? Jesus. Down a flight of stairs. Let's go. So I guess what we're going to do is we'll either love injector a particular creature we want the limb of, or we're just going to harvest a limb off of my clone. Because if we take it off the clone, that's just, it's a freebie. Can't aggressively lunge through the ogre eat. Well, he pushed me through a wall, so thanks a lot. Swipe them all. I am so sick of these goddamn Cyclopean Gibbons. It's really a testament to the effectiveness of the carapace that I'm routinely being shoved through walls and take very little to no damage when it happens. Like, these giant monkeys are picking me up and hurling me through a wall, and I just shake it off and walk back up to them. Slinth, come on. I I'm too over-encumbered to move. Just leave me alone. Ooh, emergency services card. Ooh, weird artifacts. At first light on a curious and pistachio, you know, I don't have to keep reading this. I've already read all the pistachio stuff. I think it's funny and delicious. Get, get. Inventory, I've picked up <clears throat> quite a bit. Examine, it's a painted thermo cask. No wonder I'm over encumbered. 41 pounds, disassemble that. Displacer handrail. Displacer bracelet. It's a gas tumbler. So this is just a pump. We could just we could just pump whatever uh, gas we want through this. Might be nice for normality purposes. I think it counts as a large weapon, right? Oh no, it's just it's a thing we could add to a pump. It makes the dispersal go 100% faster. Alright, might just take this apart too. Not disassemble! No, I'm sorry Johnny5, disassemble. Alright, what about this? A point defense drone! Oh, I do like point defense drones. I could jack a point defense drone. Compute power on the local lattice increases the effectiveness. Need more input. Blood gradient hand vacuum. Helping hands? Oh no. I could have more hands? High voltage arc winder. Alright, we got two point defense drones. Uh, Crystal Greatsword. I'm gonna drop that. Hold on to the Battle Axe, though. We need something for dismembering. 114 pounds of weapons down here. Bloody Hypertractor. Disassemble the Hypertractor. A Null Ray Pistol. Broken. Disassemble. A Light Rail. I'm currently using a Light Rail, if I recall. Chain Laser. Spacer. High voltage arc winder, disassemble. Two handrails. Disassemble. Disassemble. Getting plenty of sixes. I did want more of those. Die thermo beam. Displacer handrail. When power this weapon randomly teleports its target on a successful hit. That's pretty fun. I kind of want to get the Displacer modifier and uh, modify a few more weapons with that. Blood Gradient Hand Vacuum. Disassemble. Is 
16 pounds on the spacer rifle. All right. I can carry a lot more now, thanks to that. Auto Explorer. A Fungus Secrets, third edition. You see, is precision calibrated every tool handcrafted. Purple. We finally found a legendary ape. And they have no relationship with apes in their, their little thing here. They're loved by the Clamaspian family. Hated by the Gersh for refusing the mansions to a local library. Disliked by the children of Amon for torching one of their villages. And disliked by bears for slaying one of their leaders. This is a good ape to kill. A good ape to kill. He is listed as being very tough, but I doubt his ape fists are going to be all that effective against me. He doesn't have a weapon, so I'm going to stay in aggressive stance. Try and decide if I want to throw one of my grenades at him before we get close. He is very clown, honk honk. Sorry, just, just for you. Throw an acid grenade mark two or freeze grenade mark two. Freeze grenade. He's in fine condition. He's close to me. I'm going to shield slam him. He slammed me right back. Enter on guard mode. Lunge at him. Come on. All right, don't lunge at him. Charge at him. Five. Now lunge him. Can't aggressively lunge. Man, they don't think I understand lunge very well. Flurry them! Give him a swipe. Give him a swipe. Give him another swipe. I have unlimited swipes. Oh, it's only one space, isn't it? I'm always bad with the spacing stuff. I lose track of, like, how far each of the swipes are. Sorry, lunges are. Or spaces are, in general. Just keep swiping, baby! Gersh like me better. Children of Mon like me better. And bears like me better. Amazing. Keeping track of, like, yeah, you can... You can do a charge. A charge, I think, is three tiles. Lunge is one tile. I think you're right there. I'm just bad at keeping track of that kind of stuff. Come on! Isn't your morale broken after what I just did? Run away from me. It's been a lucrative dungeon, but not lucrative in the ways I wanted. Ooh, visage. I kind of want to grow another head. Like, I, w I want another face. Because we got a very good mask on in the castle face. But I would really like to also put on a visage. Visage is just nice to have. Mercurial cloak, a gas tumbler, disassemble. I want to grow another head. I want another face. Yeah, cud's a weird game. It's part of why I love it so much. A pair of helping hands I might put on my back. Two pairs of ninefold boots. I'm taking them both apart. Twenty pounds of helping hands, though. What am I wearing on my back right now? I got Nakam's ribbon. That's right. Mod your helmet to be two-faced. Ooh, that's not a bad idea. Forty percent chance that a tinkered item will have a random item modification. 
Integrated power system. Automatically powered via actual generation. So I don't need a battery in you. Yeah, I guess we could do two-faced on my white hot lid of Hawar. Yeah. Not a bad idea. We do have we gotta find two-faced as a mod first. But that's doable. I'm sure someone's selling that somewhere. So many slinth here. I feel bad. Glazed guys of Ursava Hall. <clears throat> Mellified skin is sutured to color for Uflax in a psychotomimetic likeness to the Eater's Idol in the Age of Clamas. Adorn with beautiful glass. Plus one toughness. Reflects 6% of damage back at attackers. Eh. I'm probably not going to use it, but I'm not going to say no. Take all. Yeah, you don't take damage. Fullerite hand bones. What is this, the other run? 119 pounds of missile weapons again. God. So many light rails. I am using an engraved jacked light rail. I might jack one of these light rails and give it to my buddy. I have 13 photonics. I'm getting a lot of sixes these days. Mod that to be jacked. Disassemble the other one. Hey, buddy. I'm gonna give you a jacked light rail. Here you go! Unequips the sturdy space inverter, equips the jacked light rail. He knows what's up. No more beams of electricity threatening to take me apart. Disassemble the null ray, replace the six I just spent. Ooh, a freeze ray. I kind of like having one of those on hand, but they are heavy at 29 pounds. I guess I don't need a freeze ray. I can just freeze people with, you know, grenades, which I have an unlimited amount of if I want. I'll take apart the displacer handrail. There we go. Now I can carry a bit more. Was like, wow! <laughs> so. <laughs> this might be my new favorite book title. Clang's presence here will provide a graceless, scraping locomotion for their own errant bowstrings. You are as beautiful as imagined. Diptych rubbing on the summer solstice. You appear refreshed, Moon King. I'm not certain that she avoids the patties and won't eat mats without low broth and steam mats. Would you consider being our ambassador? Not unpaid, mind you. <laughs> Soaking wet, empty chest, each clan sent their strongest man to best in single combat, the beast hunter who called himself Deneskajold. Live and drink, Moon King. I fucking love this book. This book is great. Get that book. Tinker devised the spray bottle, second edition. Chris Steel Boots, Herberry, another light rail. Remove the nuclear cell, and then... You know what? From here on out, light rails are treated as scrap. I have two of the things already jacked and ready to go. Uh, get the Herberry, leave the Chris Steel Boots on the floor. Nowhere else to explore. Well, all right. We completed a, a holy site without dying. Good work, us. Salt encrusted Rhinox Skull Mall. That is a really badass hammer. Let's just see if there's anything else we could explore before we leave. Because sometimes. Sometimes it takes a little bit of a creative breaking of walls. 
Nope, nothing new. Make a little snacky poo. Uh, preserve my fresh food, preserve my exotic food. Nothing to preserve there. Choose ingredients, let's see. I'm gonna go with some crushed grape moss, a little fermented yonder cane, and a splash of dream beer paste. Cook. <clears throat> Taster than usual, 29 hit points for the rest of the day. Steam mats, yeah, delicious stuff. You can get it the old Krabby Patty. Can you use Sleep Breath at level 10? 200 reputation with flowers, roots, succulents, trees, vines, and the consortium of Fida. Can you use Teleport Other? That's a lot of stuff at once. Uh, sleep Breath at level 10. Whenever you teleport, you cause plants to grow in a random location nearby. Sleep Breath at level 10, and whenever you take damage from a plant, you teleport. Take the first one. Uh, Sam, I'm using Tilt Control's sandwiches dip with their flatbread, grave moss, and the concentrated be dream beard gland paste. What a very- it's like it rolls off the top. It's the kind of thing you see it on a menu, you're like, yeah, I fucking want some of that. It just sounds delicious, you know? Don't think I missed anything on this floor. Yeah, Auto Explorer says nothing. I guess I do see an area I could probably break my way into just in case there's something else there. Best in-game meal you've concocted. Hmm. It's weird. It looks like it has books on it, but it's just the blood staining it. The life sap doesn't... Oh, I... come on! Nothing penetrated my armor. I'm okay. I feel like the best meal I ever made in this game. I don't remember the name of it. But I remember I didn't choose the ingredients. I just said throw stuff in there. And it randomly threw in like my own severed hand. It was like character name severed hand. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't eat yourself. That strikes me as wildly unhealthy. But it was fine. Nothing, nothing bad happened. Barely diseased by it at all. Well, that was that was a pleasant location. I'm kind of tempted to try the other one again. Yeah, I've eaten my own severed limb on purpose. It was the fact that it got tossed in there, like, by happenstance. My best out-of-game meal. I think my best out of game meal was I went to a Yakiniku place for Ellen's birthday when we were in Tokyo. And it was one of those joints where like they had they had the the wagyu style beef and it was incredible. Like my god, delicious, delicious. Everything there was very good. And you got to grill it yourself, which is just fun. It's like an entertaining experience. And they also had a thing like, oh, you're doing that part of the menu? That comes with unlimited highball drinks. And I was like, well, I gotta try every highball on the menu. And, uh, and then I don't remember the rest of the evening after that, but it was probably a lot of fun. I probably had a good time. <laughs> but me, me and Alan definitely got into a little bit of a competition of like, all right, I've drank one more highball than you've drank. It's like, well, no, no, that's not fair. I'm going to drink one more highball than you've drank. And I'm a goddamn lightweight. So I was I was stumbling out of that place, but everything was great. Very good meal. That might be my favorite meal I've had. Second place was a different birthday here in the States. It was a place called. I got to get the name right because it's. Damn it. I don't remember the name. Uh, There's an apron I could find with the name on it, but it was like a place that was very proud to continue a tradition of like 
early Americans just eating as much as they can until they literally shit their pants and puke. Like, the description of the place is like, we're celebrating this experience. And the waiters there would make fun of you if you didn't finish your plate and would egg you on to eat more. And I've never felt more sick at a restaurant because they were just like, go on, have more. What do you mean you're done eating? Eat more. And they would just peer pressure you into like you're on the in the car driving home and every bump was like, I'm going I'm going to shit myself and puke right now. But it was a lot of fun. Like I enjoyed the experience right up until the the sorrow kicked in. Until the regret overcame me. I'm really tempted to try that place again. That's just a normal. No, this was like over the top, like. Did you unshit? Did you shit your pants? No, but there was a moment where I was in the bathroom, like standing over the toilet, just thinking like, if I throw up, I'll feel better. Like I was contemplating, like forcing myself to vomit just so the pain would be over. And I've never had that before. I'm trying to remember the name of the place. It was like the Beef Eater or something like that, like the Beef Eater American tradition. But like, it was a coursed thing, so like the first course would show up and it's like, here's your wedge salad. And you ate the wedge salad, and you're like, that was nice, and like, appetizer course. No, it wasn't a buffet, like they came to the table with way too much food, and then they would insult you until you finish the plates. You ever fear puking because a stomach contraction might make you shit yourself? Having had food poisoning and norovirus this year and last year, yes. Like, I've been I've been sick enough where, like, you're in the bathroom and you just, I'm gonna take off the pants because at any moment I have to change sides. If I'm not puking, I'm pooping. And you gotta be quick about it. I hate food poisoning so much. Yeah, norovirus too! Norovirus is just like, hey, you wanna have fun? I hate norovirus. That was this December. Like, I was visiting family in New York. And a, a week of it was just spent like, well, this is pain and suffering for the next few days. Dynamic power plant, schema soft. It's like free money, basically. I have horrible interoception and I'm incapable of feeling full. So my normal restaurant experience is almost throwing up on the way home. You want to have fun? No, yeah, that's norovirus. Like, I'm usually, like, I'll finish my plates, and I rely on the restaurant to have, like, proper portions. But, like, I'll feel full, and I'll stop, and I'll take some stuff home sometimes. But, like, often if I'm going to a restaurant, I know to, like, I'm gonna show up hungry. But this particular place, this is for, uh, my friend Becca, uh, Becca's birthday, several years back, it was... It was brutal. Like I said, like, they made fun of you. Like, the appetizer course, I was full after the appetizers, because it was giant, like, shrimp. And they're just like, what are you done? What are you, a baby? What are you, a little tiny baby? Keep eating. I'm like, I don't, I don't know if I like this experience. They're just gonna peer pressure you until you keep eating? This seems bad. And then after, like, the giant shrimp were done, they came out with, like, multiple cuts of steak and stuff. It was horrifying. I spent a few days sleeping on an air mattress in my old apartment in California due to norovirus. I didn't trust sleeping in a bed. Yeah, norovirus is... You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're gonna throw up in two seconds! Or you're going to have violent diarrhea in two seconds. But, like, it just comes on so fast. I don't care for norovirus. When I had the norovirus in New York, uh, this was just, just, at this point, last month. A similar time one month ago, I just kept a bucket next to the bed with me. Just me and my bucket. Mr. Bucket. He's buckets of fun. Mr. Bucket. Puke in his head. Focus on the bat. Ooh. K 
cave game wing bears. <laughs> Fun thing is mixing colitis with your norovirus. It's ultra instinct level diarrhea. Hey. You poop yourself without needing your body to react. Like I said, uh, when when Gopper was asking, like, you ever fear puking because stomach contractions might make you poop yourself? Like, norovirus wasn't quite that level, but you may recall last year. Last year, I had... I had RSV, the flu, and food poisoning at the same time, and I was, like, in and out of the hospital and the fucking walk-in clinic, and I was bed-bound for a month. But that was, like, I would cough, and there's just, like, well, there go those pants. Like, it's just... It is what it is. Not gonna sugarcoat it. Like, we lost a pair of boxers or two in that experience, because anything... You would cough, you're puking now. You would cough, you're pooping now. Just, I spent a lot of that time either curled up crying in bed or... or sitting on the toilet so that at least if it happens, I'm in the right spot. That was the worst. I laugh because I know the struggle. <laughs> uh, it was, it was not fun. No, no. I, again, that was the worst I've ever been sick in my life. Like, I partially herniated myself, like, I was bruising all in the musculature of the stomach. They're like, yeah, you might have, like, possibly cracked a rib, we don't know yet. Just like, oh god, everything's horrible. Ooh. Any wheel spins thus far? No. Probably just gonna do, uh, wheels day, we'll just complete all the wheel spins on Wednesday. For that particular wheel. We still have other wheels, but holiday catch-up wheels, just like, let's burn through it soon. Are you, are you being injured over there? What's going on? Clone, come here. All right, he's done being covered in acid wine. Almost 400 rounds of healing. He was pretty, uh, pretty burned. Some microchips, microchips. I can see there's an entranceway into this chunk here, but we might have to break a shim scale to get in there. Still no Zetachrome. Like, our mission here is we basically just need two things. Zetachrome, and we need... We need Neutron Flux. Zetachrome's just a matter of, like, random chance. Do we find it? The Neutron Flux, I am not... Not sure on. Like, I'm pretty sure we could find it in the... In the Moonstair. But I can't remember if we get it by breaking walls. I feel like that's... I feel like that's static. I think warm statics we get by breaking walls. But I'm pretty sure there's a way to get it in there. Moonstair is a little scary, though. The last time, we, we got our stuff by... It was a weird playthrough last time. And we don't have the options we had that playthrough i.e. Uh, multiple copies of an alchemist because the game kept re-rolling Bethesda Sousa. We can get one warm stat, not warm static, one neutron flux from him. Yeah, I'm, I'm starting to think I, what I could do is I can get one from the alchemist. And yeah, we could use polygel. I mean, that's not a bad idea. Because I'm not 100% sure how to find Neutron Flux in the Moonstair. I just know there's a possibility. And I don't want to go into the Moonstair without going back and picking up all of my EMP grenades first. Because the Moonstair, every once in a while, there will be a pyramid made of death. Yeah, Warm Static. I'm, I'm almost now 100% sure Warm Static is what I could find in there. That is not how you find Neutron Flux. Is there, a, like, a place you could reliably find Neutron Flux? And is it the Moonstair? Like, not through walls, but, like, are there things that will drop it out there? 
I guess I'll go to Bethesda Sousa and just uh, go buy it from a, a kind, helpful alchemist. I got money. I got a lot of money. Got so much money. All right, let's go back to Gritgate. Merchants and the Alchemist. Bummer. Uh, I do. I I already have two metamorphic polygels. Like I'm already there. Like I'm I'm that ready. I think we're gonna be all right. I've been uh, I've been hoarding various things. Mercurial Cloak. The Glazed Guys. What was I holding onto the batteries for? Plus one intelligence. It adds one level of electrical, electrical generator. I could put that away. Uh, helping Hands I'll put away for now. Night Sight Interpolators we'll put away for now. Another Rainbow Weave Cloak. Ulnar Stimulators. Telescopic Monocle. Buy stuff? I think you mean love injector him and strip him naked. My concern is if we don't love injector successfully, he nukes us. Like, I'm still scarred by early Caves of Cut, like in the early days. Not super early, but, you know. It used to be the alchemist would just nuke the floor randomly. Like, he would get into a fight with someone off screen and suddenly you're dead. I'm still afraid of that. I still think about that. Put all that away. But we could do that. We could love inject room, steal everything, and then amputate a limb. Just so we have a body part. Like, we still need a body part. And then we don't have to take it from, like, my clone. I guess I could put my quantum mode away. Or I can give it to my clone. Not that he needs it. Cole! Thank you for the follow and welcome to the Shake the Box family. Happy to have you here. You play Caves of Cut? The Bay Law Quest? Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you telling me the Bay Law Quest can give me... Neutron Flux for doing the, 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 like, Sherlock Holmes mystery quest? I feel like that must be a small chance, because I've done that quest several times. You're playing right now? Although frustratingly, like, I've been wanting to do the quest recently, and I can never get the rep to be allowed in the stupid village. I might just go in there and, like, mess up the joint a little bit. It's a possible... Yeah, that, that seems like a low odd plan right now. Tell me about your run. Let's put the spacer rifle away. Like, I'm losing one... One level of penetration right now by not using the spacer rifle. But at least this way we don't have to worry about this stupid cloud of plasma that's always getting in the way. Alright, put all that away. Still got a weird artifact to look at. A spacer pistol. Disassemble. I got six antimatter cells. I got the blood biodynamic cell mostly just for if someone happens to be a blood drinker. We can hand them blood. We got oil and acid for the same reason. And a few nuclear cells. Icker Merchants that's still... Sometimes, yeah. That's where I've been going. I've been checking them from time to time. They've had a cloning drought, and I kind of want it. But by now, they've almost certainly restocked, and it's not that important. I already have one clone. Alright. I think we're going to hit up Bethesda Sousa. And we're going to either Love Injector or steal every... Uh, love Injector and steal everything, or we might just buy it. I have a lot of trade goods. Might even uh, bring more trade goods with me that don't weigh anything. 
in the form of schematic -y nonsense. I have a bunch of albino A parts. Like, I could take all the skill softs and stuff. That's all good weight to trade ratios right there. Oh man, on the F2 screen, I can't quite tell how much everything weighs. One pound. Here we go. If it's zero, I'll grab it. No, oh, not 75 pounds, that's for sure. Staring in the very bottom right. I'll take a few one pounders too. Here we go. That's a good amount of cybernetic stuff to trade with. All very lightweight. Do I have any normal trade goods in here too? If water didn't weigh so much, I'm a goddamn water baron. Like, I could take. I, I could buy whatever I want if I could just bring this water with me. You know. Maybe like a vial or two of brain brine. That probably trades well. Oh man, I gotta go. I gotta, I gotta rock tumble all this stuff. I got a fire ant queen figurine. Bloodstain rough. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little rock tumbling. I've had way too much fun cloning the merchants themselves for more shots of the rare stuff. Nice. Live and drink, my friend. Set this baby loose on some feldspy. Do some rock tumbling, baby. All right, what's ho what horrible, not funny thing is written on here? Rhinoceros. Nose horn. Fun animal name games on each stick. Not true. It's not true. I didn't have fun. Did you have fun? Was that a game? I think not. I think not. Oh, man. Alright, let's go to the workshop. Yeah, I was kind of I was curious. 4 to 1 didn't do the word hint. Your word hint is... Hold on one second. I'm gonna be background noises. <laughs> They're extra soothing. Uh, your word hint is, um... You know what? We already did, like, the more... roundabout hint. We'll go for a more straightforward one. You use this to keep water from get. Uh, sorry. Keep paper from getting wet. You probably experienced a lot of this uh, form of, of process on paper in, in early, early school experiences. Elementary school teachers probably love these things. Alright, all my rocks are in there for smoothing out <laughs> nitroglycerin. That'll keep pages uh, nice and dry. Cthulhu's on the right track. It's just the tense of the word is all. I should have gotten more more obscure. I've been like, yeah, technically making uh, making croissants involves this. Wait, what am I doing? I'm supposed to be teleporting right now. Let's go to Gridgate real quick. 
No, six days still real quick. That's what I want. You all remember what to do whenever anyone says a secret word, right? Scream! <laughs> That's right! Scream real loud! Scream real loud! You know what? I want to see if we can find Two-Faced. We should still check out the schematics menu. Transkinetic Cuffs. Lamb and Eight. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, how are th people feeling about the uh, Cult of the Lamb update? Because we did do a full playthrough of Cult of the Lamb. But we could make a new sex cult with this new update. I don't know if folks want to have a sex cult happening. Check out Kipper. Doo -doo. Gotta find documentaries about sex cults. I understand. Uh, Icker Merchant. Maybe we'll get lucky. <laughs> Bring on that furry weirdness. Steaming. Rubber insulation. I wouldn't trust that recipe. Uh, two drams of oil, but it's engraved. Early in 4273 BR. After having made enemies with the collective historians, the Sultan of Cut disappeared. Because of Koyamed's perpetual eyes, he was chosen as the successor and was featured heavily in the anime known as Jujutsu Kaisen. Sap acid ink, asphalt, nothing. We only have one Iker Merchant in our six-day stilts. We have a lot of Kippers. But only one Iker Merchant, which is a bit of a bummer. Someone just got turned into a pile of dust immediately. It was an Issachari Raider. Well, we do have some books for the librarians. Let's do this. Was like, wow! So... I love that title of that book so much. Here you go. Bunch of books for you. 8,000 experience points. Halfway to level 37. I'm sated and quenched. Let's think. I put stuff in the rock tumbler. We spent a little while walking around. It's probably ready now. So we're going to go back to Yit. Back to the workshop. And then we will go to Bethesda Susa. Smooth amethyst gemstone. Smooth emerald gemstone. Four smooth japster japs <laughs> Japsters! Four Napster gemstones and a topaz. Me read real good. <laughs> read so good. Oh, fell into a hole. You know, I might as well finish my Yid Freehold exploration. There are some interesting characters to talk to. Like many eyes. And is that a weird starfish or is that a chair? Metallica might come for you now. Lars Ulrich wants to have a word with you. It's a storm chair. It's a starfish that's been stuffed. Ah, uh, I don't like that I was right and wrong. A monad. Who we got? There's actually no one, like... I guess there's one named character worth talking to in here, and it's... Gube. I'm not gonna chat with him right now. Ooh, a leech figurine for a thousand. We need an ape figurine. I'm desperate for ape reputation. I just... I just want to be friends with the ape. Is this where Many Eyes hangs out? A hologram of an eater. A hologram of an eater that is just a mirror. That's a mirror. You can't fool me. In 4897 BR, Ardisha II, the Pesachzor, Fate's Caller, the Woshizor, died of natural causes. He was 103 years old. I am 90% sure we had that already. Because we've already gone through the tower. We've gone through the tomb. 
So maybe this is something we forgot when one of the memory eaters got us. I'm gonna hope that's the case. Because I'm still sad that we were forced to forget stuff. What's left? Like, upper upper left is the only chunk left here, right? Yeah. Head up. Into the library. A nice clone of Sadu Moose hanging out here. Always a pleasure, Saad. Always a pleasure. What is it? He has nothing to trade. Here we go. Don't walk into a clam by mistake. Not yet, anyway. Is this where he hangs out? There he is. I knew there was one down here. Many eyes. Non Moloch, non Moloch return from Bright Joel. I have not had this conversation before. Yes, I've returned from Bright Joel. Non Moloch her at harm. Non Moloch in my calm died. Non Moloch? Let's trade. Many eyes is nothing to trade. Many eyes is doing great down here. Definitely hasn't slipped into dementia yet. Hardy and hail, non Moloch. Sorry, many eyes. Coral pit. Why did I throw myself into this pit? That was a terrible plan. Uh, we want to go to Bethesda Susa, so Gritgate's probably our best point. To start. I have two Golgotha recoilers? What the hell's wrong with me? I gotta get rid of these. Alright, let's go talk to an alchemist. What floor is the alchemist on? I never remember that. A village! Yes! Hot damn. How did I not find these places until hour whatever into the game? Auto explore. I could do a garbage quest for garbage rewards. Those are my favorite. Nothing makes me happier than doing garbage quests. I've been chasing the high of contemplating anarchy while smoking a hookah for so long. One of like our first procedural quests we did on stream made me laugh for a good while. I've been chasing that high ever since. Nothing's come close to smoking the hookah and contemplating anarchy. I crave it. Once I get this procedural quest, I do need to pee. I've consumed this entire can of cherry and also vanilla coke. And the many ice cubes that came along with it. Legendary Goat Folk Shaman. The Warden is just a gun, which is a little on the nose. Let's go talk to Ixtel. I'm excited to talk to the, the gun as well. Welcome to the village of Mimramad, Drifter. Here you'll find shade and vittel, along with other provisions, to help you better scour the rust caves for treasure. Per our custom, you may drink of our fresh water and quench your thirst. Oh, well, my services are available. Oh, friend! Traveling claimants came to our village the other day. 
While breaking bread, they spoke of an intriguing place. Pentagon Anterior Durkakesh. But they wouldn't reveal the location. Would you be willing to locate it for us? It would be a great boon to the monetary prospects of our village. We will pay you for your service. We hear it's located next to the Quadrilateral Temrod. I'll do it. Just once I wanted to be like, oh yeah, I've been there before. Here you go. Here's the location. Let's trade. You got nothing. Let's take a look at you. Loved by the villagers and goat folk. Disliked by the villagers of Shashur for disproving a famous theorem. What, they don't like science? Disliked by succulents for poisoning their fresh water. Well, that was a dick move. I mean, they're succulents. Disliked by equines for disparaging a famous poet. Uh, I don't need to water ritual, but I'm kind of curious what I might be able to learn from him. And none of the things we're going to lose points on matter to me, so let's go for it. Goat folk like me better. Villages for sure don't matter. And of course, succulents, minus 50, whatever. And equines, minus 50, it's still fine. I could learn how to mate. <laughs> I kind of want to learn tumble, so if we do the mission, that's going to work out for us. But meat air cake raises some questions. I kind of want to know what meat air cake is all about. Where do you have a cooking vessel nearby? You don't have a cooking thing. How do you people cook food? Clay oven. Why was that not listed before? I fully explored this location. Yeah, what is meat air? All right, let's first preserve my my fresh foods. Anything exotic? No. Meat air cake. Let's give it a go. Whenever you drop below 20% HP, you teleport. I want to know the ingredients. Very curious. Let's talk to... This guy. Well, let's look at him first. Loved by the villagers, hated by Fitch, hated by the villagers of Bursartara. For some reason, no one remembers. I'm kind of curious what you might do for me. I can learn tumble. That's exactly what I want. Only 50 to have them join me, but like, they're terrible. They're gonna... They'll die immediately. So let's learn how to tumble from them. That's nice. No, no complaints about that. And lastly, before I go pee, I have to talk to the warden of the town who is a stationary gun. Which is just not, not a great way to put it together. Live and drink, Nomad! I could buy all of his bullets, which would be very funny. Alright, BRB, I just gotta, gotta use the resting room. <laughs>